Good evening and welcome to the Royal Opera House. We're here in the Claw Studio for tonight's Insight, supported by Rolex. I'm Alexander Campbell. I'm a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet. And tonight we're going behind the scenes of this brand new production of Cinderella. Choreographer Frederick Ashton's Cinderella opened in 1948. It is the 75th anniversary of this ballet. Um, the ballet's opening night was received rapturously, I'm told, and featured performances by Moira Shearer and Michael Soames. Um, but it's been over a decade since we've seen this ballet on the Royal Opera House stage, um, a decade since we've seen Ashton's take on the rags to riches story, um, his beautiful musicality and choreography married beautifully with um, Prokofiev's shimmering score. Um, in this new staging, we have a creative team steeped in the magic of theatre, dance, opera, all, all sorts of different things, um, and they're going to envisage a new world for Cinderella. Um, we've still, still got um, pumpkin carriages, we've still got um, fairy godmothers, of course, um, it's all about finding true love. Let's take a look. Well, tonight we'll be meeting some of the uh, creative team responsible for this brand new production. We'll be seeing um, some of my fellow dancers taking uh, new roles in rehearsals. Uh, but first, we're going to be talking about Frederick Ashton, his choreography, his legacy. Um, please welcome uh, Wendy Ellis Soames and director of the Royal Ballet, Kevin O'Hare. <laughs> Welcome both. Thank you um, so much for being here. Um, exciting to see yes. this ballet back. Um, Kevin, how, how has it been getting this ballet back into the repertoire? Obviously a different version, but it's still something very much royal ballet. Yeah, definitely. And it's been amazing to work with Wendy on this. We've been talking for quite a long time because, of course, then COVID and the pandemic came in, into it and then looking at the right team, really, to bring this classic ballet um, of the repertoire of the Royal Ballet back to life. And uh, I thought it was really important that uh, we had uh, a new production for this generation of dancers. I think that we've got a wonderful company yes. and it's great for them to own it and, and, and also for the audiences out there to feel that they've got a production for their generation of, of theatre goers. And uh, I'm also excited because it's a co-production with the National Ballet of Canada, which uh, this is, I think, our fourth co-production together. And so that's something that works really well for us and it's great to share our legacy of Sir Frederick Ashton with other companies as well. That's amazing. Um, I know as the dancers, we're all really excited to see you know, the things that we've seen, model boxes, you know, we get bits and pieces um, of information when we go in for costume fittings and stuff, but we're starting to see it you know, moving into the uh, studios and then you know, soon yes. to be the stage. Yeah, I've seen your uh, Prince costume on the hangar. Oh, yeah. And How's it, it looks very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> it, it looks beautifully elegant and, and just as you imagine a, a, a fairy tale prince to look like. Well, I can't wait to put it on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wendy, you're here obviously staging the ballet yes. um, for us. Um, I, look, I wasn't there in 1948, obviously. So when I'm saying <laughs> it, it, it says here, it made an immediate impact in 1948. So I'm told. Um, yes. how, uh, why is it still so special, do you think? Well, you know, not many ballets for that. Oh, 75 years. Mm. That's a, a good time for a, a, a three-act ballet to still be presented and loved by you and the audience. And of course, the dancers are very excited about doing it. They're, they're loving it. And there's a lot of hard dancing in it, not just for the principals, but for the soloists. There are four very five actually very difficult solos in act one and then we have the jester which is one of my favorite roles 
it's it's a killer that <laughs> but um no it's 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 just a lot of dancing not just as i say for the soloists and principals but for the corps de ballet the core have uh, the co uh, courtiers they certainly have a lot of hard dancing yes we were in and rehearsal today when we yes. in, in act two and it really was a, a, though I know the ballet really well, when you see it, when we're slowly trying to put it together, you see how much there is for that. For oh, the there courtiers, is. Isn't there? there is. And a lot of style. Yes, yeah. Beautiful style, use of the epaulmon, use of the, the hands and the pour de bras, which is carriage of the arms, um, and the musicality. Mm -hmm. I mean, the wonderful Pro Pro Prokofiev score. It's nice to, mm. to be... And I must say, I must that. tell you, <laughs> Jack Lanchbury, who worked a lot with Fred and Michael, he said, I'd, I'd play this score, I'd conduct this score for nothing. But don't tell anyone else that. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the manager. We do it for the love. But we do it for the love. Yeah. Um, the, I, I think you're absolutely right to, to point out just how much dancing there is in the production. Um, like you say, it's, it's across um, the company, and it is actually very tricky technical um, classical ballet. Um, sometimes I feel, my generation, um, you know, we, we, we think of Frederick Ashton, we hear, and, you know, we, we talk about it, and there's perhaps this unfair um, description of his work as sort of being very twee, and, and so you don't think maybe of the technical elements of it, but it's steeped in Cicchetti, Technique, Correct. isn't it? And it's the very. The Cicchetti. It's it's yes. extraordinarily yes. tricky, isn't it? And of course, his own style. His Can own style, but he was influenced by the Garnova and mm -hmm. Cicchetti. And and how would you describe Ashton's style, both of you? I'd love that as a as an answer from both of you. Well, his musicality for sure, and his use of it, Paul, use of the quality of the. Bras. Yeah, and the footwork as well is so intricate and tricky, for, especially for the women, isn't it? Yes. They want everything. And, and we hope that that's what's sort of transferred through the years, you know, because he was our founder choreographer. And, you know, that's what we've always, when you come and see us do Sleeping Beauty, which we're doing at the moment, you hope that that his ideals for how footwork and how body should move is carried through the work that we do. But I think also what um, is, is amazing is he's so succinct at telling the story. He gets to the heart of the story always, mm -hmm. and that's really beautiful. And he uses the music to tell us where we are within that story. And then that's why there can be so much dancing, because we've told the story quite instantly. You know? Yes, so you know where you are, yeah. and, and we're just going to enjoy yeah. um, getting there. Um, Wendy, the, the role of uh, the prince Cinderella was created by um, Michael Sam, your, your husband, um, who was responsible for staging the ballet for many years. Um, is there one thing that you think of where you go, right, that's the thing that I must make sure that I um, get across to the company? Um, the at story. Any time? The story. The story. Facial expression, too. That's interesting. A lot of facial expression. Yes. All the way through. And, From and everyone. And how do you, you know, I think, how, how do you. Um, say, communicate that to, to dancers, uh, your facial expression. Well, acting, it's, it's, it's acting, really. Acting the role, thinking, oh, I wanted to go to the ball too. Oh, they've gone without me, and I'm left with my broom. It's a pretty sad statement. <laughs> Which she <laughs> pretends <laughs> to make into her prince. I was about to go into Lady, the fairy godmother then, but I thought not. And so I was going to actually speak the words as well. But then the fairy godmother comes, <laughs> comes up and in. says, you will go to the ball. Oh. And, and so all of those, th even though you're doing this really tricky solo and, uh, you know, even for the fairy godmother or if you're spring or you're autumn, I think you'll see um, Laura is rehearsing them and she gives them sort of words and little insights into how you should be to to portray spring, portray the autumn, portray summer, and all of those things. And as Wendy says, during, during Cinderella's, there's so many scenes when she's on her own. And so following her mindset through that is really important, isn't it? That's right. You almost say a story to yourself to make it come out truthfully to you, the audience. Fascinating. We look forward to, to seeing those performances, obviously. Um, I want to go back 
to the first performance, 1948. Again, I wasn't there, obviously. Uh, but we, <laughs> <you, you laughs> <know>, really? <laughs> um, the, the the first night performance was uh, Moira Shearer. Yeah, that's right. Um, but again, my notes. I'm told that it was created uh, on Margot Fontaine, or a lot of the uh, ballet was originally created on Margot Fontaine. Is that correct? That's correct. Well, the first act, the what we used to call the kitchen scenes. It's a room in the house of was very lyrical and soft. And that was Margot to a T. And then she, she had an injury and Moira produced the second act, which is much more spiky. She was a different dancer to Margot. And that's how you get the two sets of qualities. You get the lyrical, musical, and then the, the speed and fast. And actually, that works well for the story yes, as well. Yes, it does. She's sort of transformed into this ballerina who's technically brilliant as That's well. That's right. You know. That's right. Yeah. And then you go back to her in the in the lounge scene, and mm -hmm. it it goes back to how she was remembering what happened at the ball. Mm -hmm. And do you think that was a um, a you know, conscious decision by Frederick Ashton to lean into, um, you know, the, the characteristics and the qualities of the individual dancers in front of him, rather than saying, this is the Cinderella that I'm I want to think create. he worked with the, with the dancer himself. He often did. Mm. He worked with the qualities of that particular dancer, and that's how it came out that way. It's amazing, because, it, you know, I've been in rehearsal today yes. and seeing the differences between the acts, and you think, gosh, how did, how did that happen it is very different um and there you go two different so people that's the answer um, <laughs> amazing um kevin so a lot a lot of the company are new to cinderella mm. um you know often you know the the heritage ballets that we have have come around sort of every two three mm -hmm. four years maybe at a yes. push um with such a gap there's not just a handful of people who are new to the, the ballet it's it seems like the major well it is a majority yes. i don't know exactly how many but you know, 70, 80 percent of people have never actually been in yeah. this ballet. Um, how, how, how do you think we, we, I say, but you know, how do you, how do you get, um, you know, that familiarity, that that um, real sort of understanding of what the ballet should be on stage across, not just in teaching the steps, but getting that essence of it. Well, I think it's, uh, you know. Ashton is never, f we have a huge repertoire, of course, mm -hmm. you know, you know that, you, one day you're dancing, you know, Ashton Macmillan, Petzipur, and then you're McGregor, Wilden, and everybody else in between. But I think uh, it, Ashton, of course, is very important to the company. And for instance, last year, we did a, that uh, major Ashton program of, of three of his great ballets. And so he's never too far away. So the, the dancers understand the movement, but also, but with this particular ballet, of course, they don't know it. And it's actually fun. I was watching people on the side who haven't seen elements of it today and how much they were enjoying it. And so it does take time. And, you know, that's why it's so wonderful to have somebody like Wendy with us who, um, you know, would worked with Ashton. And we have Leslie Collier as well in the room, you know, who worked with Ashton. And so handing down those nuggets of information that they remember from when they were in, not only both of them were Cinderella's, but they also did the fairies so, and the, yes. the seasons, seasons and all of those things. That leads perfectly <laughs> to my next question, actually. Um, Wendy, how many different roles did you do in, in Cinderella? Well, I started you? off in school as Winter Page. Oh, really? Yes. And then when I got into the company, I, I just about did a star. And then I was put into learning season spring which Fred said was like a spring lamb used to jump from nowhere. If you've ever seen in the fields a lamb, they just spring up out of nowhere with no, <laughs> just elevation. And, um, and then I did autumn and then I danced Cinderella, yes. which is a beautiful role to dance. And do you think having the perspective of, you know, those different roles, has allowed you to, you know, be incredibly sort of empathetic to when you're staging. You see, you understand not only how it feels when you're Cinderella, but also the the perspective of, you know, the stars when you're looking across, like where things need to be and how things have to fit together. Yes, I, I learned a lot from Michael after I retired in 1990, and he took me around. We went to Sweden. We went to Amsterdam. 
um, America. And uh, I learned a lot about not just the dancing, but sight lines, lighting, and all the other elements, uh, the conductor, musicality, uh, with, with working with the conductor. So I learned a lot about not just the steps. Mm -hmm. And it's, I, think you, uh, I think it's true to say that you are true to the choreography completely, but also you're looking at the dancers that you're working with at the time, you know, Absolutely, as well, and, yes. and making it work for them as yes. well, because that's that's yes. really important. And yes. we, with Cinderella, we have uh, two Cinderellas that have danced it before. That's uh, Marinella and uh, Sarah. Sarah. But then we have five, five, six others that haven't danced it before. That's right. Five, six. That's five, six, six. I think <laughs> six. That's right. So a lot of casts, you know, and and a lot of people to find their own way in it, which I think is really important as well. And of course, the sisters to find their own. Yes, yes. So we because that was that's a hard role to follow. Yes. Sir Frederick Ashton and Sir Robert Helpman. As the sisters, in, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's fun this year, isn't it? Because it's uh, fun. This year. Uh, we're really enjoying that we've got some great, uh, great male couples, and and then we're having a female couple as well. So we're we're changing that up a bit. It has happened in the past, hasn't it? But a long time. A ago. long time ago. So um, we thought it would be fun yes. to bring. Yes, Marlene Tour. She actually worked with Michael in Amsterdam a lot on Cinderella. In fact, it was her first ballet when she got to Amsterdam. All oh, right. Yes. yes. So plenty to look forward to. Yes. Um, I feel like I could sit here and, and chant for another 15 minutes, <laughs> um, half an hour, easily, easily. Um, but unfortunately, we um, have to move on to the next part of, of the evening. Um, thank you so much, um, both of you, for joining us. One thing us. I and could just say. Of course. Because we've gone through a difficult period, the world has gone through a difficult period, it's just so nice to have something with a really happy ending and walking into paradise. <laughs> it is you'll nice. have to see what that is. <laughs> Come to the show and you'll see them walking into paradise and we all want to do that. Well, you, I think you sold it already, but um, yeah. we're, get your tickets for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yes, so thank you both so much um, for sharing those insights. It's lovely to hear, obviously, more about Ashton and um, Cinderella. So thank you so much, thank Kevin. You, thank, thank you. When do you want to stay with us thank you. for a moment? Well, now we're going to rehearse the role of the fairy godmother. Um, please welcome soloist of the Royal Ballet, Annette Bavoli, coached by principal of the Royal Ballet, Laura Marrera, together with Wendy. And on piano, we have Kate Shipway. Uh, Laura and Annette, if you could join me over here. <laughs> Step into the light. Find your light, always. Um, Thank you both for being here tonight. Um, Laura, can I start with you? Role of fairy godmother, one that you have um, performed yourself um, and now coaching Annette this evening. Um, I suppose, what, what should we be looking for and what should Annette be trying to do? So I think with the fairy godmother is, I think everyone thinks it's quite an easy solo because you know there's just a warmth about her, it doesn't have any crazy turns but you're mistaken, it's very difficult. You need a lot of um, engagement of your technique because there's a lot of staying on point in a plie, which um, it just takes a lot of your actual foundations of classical ballet, like you were talking. But then it's this sense of expansion and like every movement has a dynamic that I always look at it like it gets to a place and then it just, expands so it brings that warmth into it so that we first we get a technique and then we've got to get that sense that every season is different and with a fairy godmother it's a sense of goodness and warmth and care and it should just make you feel like hmm <laughs> that's nice feel like hmm mm. <laughs> yeah um, and then where, where are we in the rehearsal process have you done one or five are we are we performance ready no, this no, is like the Good. second sure. rehearsal, so it's very early days, but um, I think having watched a few other dancers rehearsing it as well and listening to what Laura has said, I've already started getting this sense. It almost feels like it's like a warm summer breeze, this solo. It's like really, mm, there's a lot of magic in it, but it is, it is just giving and there's nothing... Um, 
I'm trying not to let any of the technical sides kind of take over that feeling. Um, so just to keep it in this pleasant, magical realm. But yeah, it's the second rehearsal, so we're getting there. Slowly. We'll, we'll, we'll see that. <laughs> You're getting um, the authentic experience. Rehearsal. I love that. I love rehearsal rehearsals. Um, let's get into it. Yeah. Okay. Let me take that. Thank you so much. That can be your wand. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we, how about we start, do it with the music and start from the beginning and then we'll just stop, talk a few things about if you go wrong, don't worry about it, we'll talk. Like I say, it's, you get the experience of rehearsal, joining the steps and getting the feeling. Um, yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. And... Right. Gorgeous. Let's stop there. Thank you, Kate. Sorry to cut you off halfway through. Very nice. So I think, Annette, I think I heard Wendy, and I think it's because we both wanted to go a little bit lower. <laughs> so just at the beginning, I think if you can really get, so instead of getting this, that is like you are gathering something then up, and then right on that music, it has the breath in it and then liberate yourself there to then, and then feel those arms pulling. This was gorgeous, and this was very nice. Keep a little bit more crossé, and really it's that feeling of hold, and then it's how you, yeah, how you get to that position. Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? So it doesn't just get there, and then it, again, it's, if she had a speech, it would be very much like the Cadbury Bunny. <laughs> you know, that kind of really lovely <laughs> feeling. Nice. The pirouette was gorgeous. Then underneath a little bit more, and then the arm comes from under the second one. Yeah. And then you got a little bit late. Yeah. Just while we're starting, Kate, could we take it down a tiny little bit while we're a little bit early just, on? Just so a little bit more sideways bend. More sideways, sideways. bend. Sideways. Up, two, three. Up. Now lift, yeah. lift, down, uh, lift, lift. Down. Yeah, almost before you bend on it, I think if you get, you're almost in the position already because then you can just like compress. There we go. Up, up, down. There we go. Nice. Good. Very nice. This was excellent. If you can just travel back a little bit. Then remember on this one, I think, can you feel like your arms get there just a little bit before and then feel your chest? Yeah, and then be careful the arms don't go back. So it's the chest coming through, so like your heart. There, beautiful. And then all the way down. Whew. Yeah. And it's, yeah, nice. And it's the difference between hold. Whew. Whew. A bit more like that, if you can. Yeah. Once more time. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. And. Feel warm in your heart. get early thank you thank you sorry yeah I think because she's so on top of it we can go back to normal tempo <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> it just takes one go because you're such a quick uh, you put it all together very quickly um, excellent on this feel like you're looking over yeah and I think it gets a tiny it can get a little bit um, wrong choreographer a <laughs> little bit more over yeah yes nice. 
He would yes. say, look at your reflection in the water. Yes, exactly what it feels like. And keep the arms low, like as if you're wearing a tutu. There we go, nice. Yes. Mm. And then, again, because you're taking her on this magical journey, right? So it can be like this, all these wonderful things are going to happen in, two, in a six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, two sixes, two, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this, perfect. Yeah, really nice. It just has the right feeling about it. Um, I just watch your coup de pied so that they get to coup de pied. In all, yeah, actually the actual coup de pied, yeah. Even before that, Annette, on this one, if I'm on the side, which I am at the moment, yeah. Yes. So as long as you feel that on the ankle bone, there, yeah, just below the calf, good. Shall we go from pirouette? <laughs> Thank you. Anything else, Wendy? Yes, I was going to say to the audience, you know, Fred wasn't so keen on forward and backwards bends, but sideways. Yeah. Sideways bends. This way. Yeah. yeah. And not back, because once you go back, there's only yes. so much you can bend. So it's like side with a hint, with a hint of a smidgen yes. of kind of forward yes. rather than back. Yes, yes, yes. Like a cocktail. They were saying <laughs> about his style, and that was his style, sideways. Yeah. Um, so with that in mind, um, just pick it up on the two chapeaux, straight on the pirouette if you can, Kate. Thank you. Chape, chape. Good. And bend from the waist. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arabesque. Take the arabesque from the heart and it. Hold, hold, hold. Let's carry on. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are, sorry, sorry, good. Two to Bure back. Yeah, and you just forgot, we won't go back for now, but you forgot the arm, yes, but you also forgot the step. <laughs> so this way, this way, tam, 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 down, out, before, tuck, 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 tuck. Yeah, so that's why you're a little bit too early. Nice. Then you've done, this is the odd two, and then, and the arms go to Cinderella here. One, two, right, left, down, down, up, left, right, and left, and down, down, hold, two, three, four, bure back, yeah. And then three of those, yeah. Yes. Nice. Think of those as little jumps on point, tiny, tiny jumps on point. I think this da, one. Da, da, oh. da, da, da. Yes. Those ones, yeah, they're looking over. Yeah, this is good. And try to da, travel da, back. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Do you want to go from the same place? Nice. Annette, be careful you don't get so low. It's very difficult on point. Get to the point where you are held, but then it's the body that goes. Yeah. So you don't need to go lower because it's, it's too difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, same place, Kate, thank you. And. Sharp, 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 yes. soft. Now just hear it in the music. <sighs> Good. Okay, let's stop there. Yeah. You know yeah. what Love I'd it. like to see more? This, from this side in, into the, that, into the arabesque. Cha, cha, and change. Yes. Yeah. And I think with Ashton, it always helps to have, well, not just with Ashton, but it's a good basis, to have that so it's never from straight, because it's so difficult then, but you're almost, like on the shoulder, yeah, exactly. Yes. Then from there, it's about which side are you extending. So it has a curve to it, one, two, and expand, 
down. Yes, good. Then right shoulder blade open. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Yes. That's on, that's on camera now, girl. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Just, um, I think still, because we made that change and I taught you wrong, so I, um, uh, we used to do this, but still on this one, yeah, just to Cinderella, because she's kneeling, exactly. And again, just feel the warmth, otherwise it gets, you're showing her the feet, down, down, and you're gonna see a kingdom and come with me, it's all kind of that. Yeah, it's a real mixture between the two. But it, it's, it's a little, it's almost that, yeah. And with your arabesque connect, so it's like 100 corrections per minute, um, just go to do a PK arabesque and hold on before you whack me in the head. Okay, go. Yeah. It's like feel that metatarsal as you come off and then keep, there we go. It just gets you right on and then you can expand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice. And then this music, cheer, bum, bum, bum literally in your ears, in your body, out to the audience. Hear it, the way Kate is playing it is so like breath, yeah? Draw a circle. Da, da, de, da, da. Yeah, da, de, da, da. yeah, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's go, shall we go from uh, the bure bag? One, two, <laughs> that's helpful, Kate. After the odd two. After the odd two, thank you. Thank you. And good, keep tell yes, keep telling Cinderella the story. Good. Stop there, yes, <laughs> which you were going to anyway. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, really, really nice. I mean, I've got the worst angle, like no dancer likes to be watched from the side. <laughs> but gorgeous, really nice. Um, this is beautiful. Remember that the first one is the illusion that you're traveling, but not too far, yeah. Then, um, yeah, it's really nice when you warm that up. Yeah. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Then be careful you're not that way. Yeah, just feel that you are really to her. Yeah, so this arm has to be a little bit more front, I think. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> like, even, <laughs> even way. <laughs> yeah, not that way or that way, just, yeah, exactly. A little, yeah, it is exactly the same. Yeah. And then, can I push you around a little bit? Yeah. Could you go after that? On the one and two and three. Actually, let's do it with music, because Kate plays it. Kate, could you? What can you give us into that? Yeah. Okay. Three, four, and five, six, and go. Go and hold. Go and go and hold. Now bend. Bend. Good. Yes. Yes, Annette. Good. Now this is warmer than to anything. To the audience. And drop. Now travel back if you can. Good, and hold. Yeah, lift up on your left side. Left side. Good. Okay, thank you, thank you, nice. Let's do, thank you. Gorgeous. That feeling, I mean, I don't know whether you, you know, but I mean, it's so beautiful on you. And because you just have these beautiful arms, it just takes us. Nice. Then remember that you still have an odd two. Um, it's okay. actually a nine, but if you count it like I count it, which is not <laughs> Prokofiev's way of counting or Kate's. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is still one, two. So you need to kind of get ready. One, two, and one, and two, hold three, and jump, yeah? Yeah, Find yourself a nice place to start that, <laughs> so you're not too Laura, close to the Laura, front. that is really... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, Annette, I think it's Wendy... Um, 
really remembers Ashton wanting that. So from here, it's like you get them up here and then you just go, whoosh, and his shoulder, chest height. Yeah, there yeah. we go. He wanted One to and really... two. Yes, hold. it's quite strong that actually. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not soft, it's quite strong. Empowered. Empowered. <laughs> Um, let's go, Kate. Can we have our famous 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Thank you. Thank you. And... Thank you. Let's just stop there. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. I think you can still be a little bit, yeah, a little bit more. It might take a while to get used to it. So it goes, hold, blah, yeah, yeah, and then suspend. Yeah, but we just be careful. We still want to see position through. I think what she's doing, she's 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 bending the elbow too much. It's it's more one and wrists. Yeah. And I think in your head, if you can think of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it sounds crazy, yeah. but it's not one and two, but one and the two, yeah. <laughs> and less kind of, mm -hmm, than like, just feel, yeah, the power there, like, yeah. yeah. He'd, then say, this he'd say he wanted a photograph there, just for a second. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what the orange remembers, still photographs, still. Yes. Nice. Um, really nice. And this, I just think you could um, a little bit, but the legs were great. Okay. I just, you can free it up a bit. And the same with, because the music goes, -lum -pum -pum. Yeah. if you can get that foot out to yeah. then carry on. And then remember to put the, a little bit, smidgen, yeah. remember to put the brakes on. So the last one really goes down here and then that's your front. Yeah. So you feel that opposition. And I used to think a lot of putting my weight on that leg so I can just one and yeah. And don't go down too soon. So you really you really on on top of it. Yeah. Let's do that and see if we can um, carry on to the end after that. I think the tempo was perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Ten, eleven. Hold. Good, and free, 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 and foot, good. Right. Now put the brakes on, good. Very nice. Quick, yes. quick. And yes. Then. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Just um, right at the end. Sorry, I'm cutting her short just for my last correction. <laughs> yeah, so this is nice. If you can propel yourself a little bit more forward. And remember, this fourth, that opposition is what's going to keep you. And glutes and down, hold. And then you can, exactly. This was gorgeous. Then. And small, small, and then this is a breath just, just, from the heart. Oh. Yeah, softer arms. Yeah. Yes. Nice. And then also on this, every articulation, because it slows down, speak with your feet. And right foot, point and point and left, right. Yes. Good. And then this very warm, take us with you. Take us with you, with you, warm. And then the last bit, just, yeah, not far behind. Think of shoulders. Then. Yeah. Shoulders, 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 shoulders. Create the world for her and then offer it to us in the audience. That's it, yes. And offer it. Yeah, okay. Mm, Thank good. you. Annette, gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Oh, beautiful.
Beautiful, beautiful work. Um, thank you to Laura, Wendy, and Annette um, for showing us that. That was um, magical, wasn't it? Um, okay, so next we're joined by designer Tom Pye and costume production manager Natalia Stewart, who's been working alongside costume designer Alexandra Byrne. And they're going to tell us more about the designs and costumes that we'll see in this beautiful new production of Cinderella. Please welcome them both now. Hello to you both. Thank you very much for uh, joining us this evening. Um, let's get to it. Well, you've got only a few weeks to go until opening night of this new production. How's it going, Tom? So far, so good. Um, it's exciting. Uh, the set's just beginning to load into the building. We've had Act 1 for a couple of weeks, and um, Act 2 arrived um, this week, and it's been built in the side stage. And Well, I'm excited with the way it's looking. It's, um, they've done an amazing job. And am I right in saying that you've been working out of Thurrock a lot? Yes, um, mainly Thurrock. And so uh, how much more have we got to bring in or bring across? Is it, is, is it not all here yet? Not all here yet. Okay. I'm going to go and see the front cloth tomorrow mm -hmm. um, being pelted elsewhere. But yeah, most of it is now here. And, and how is it for you as a designer to see you know, things that you obviously you know, conceptualize in your mind, you then obviously commit to page, model boxes and stuff, to see it on this scale now, how, how is it for you? Um, in this, uh, on this production, it's been fantastic. Um, well, that's not always the case. It's not always the case. <laughs> no, no. Okay. I can think of many productions where it's not, um, not always quite so fantastic when you see things um, how you've imagined them. Um, but it's been a really lovely collaboration, actually, with the, the workshops, the painters, and all the builders in Thurrock. Um, it's been really exciting. We, we've seen some of them now in the opera rehearsal room too. We've been doing um, yeah. some rehearsals down there and things are built. And there's, it, it's, it's like another layer of excitement, another layer of anticipation that we sort of see and gets us right into um, you know, the understanding of what we're going to be you know, performing. Yeah. Um, and it, it is looking beautiful, I agree. Yeah. I'm very, very excited myself. Um, Natalia, um, working with Alexandra Byrne um, and designs, um, I wondered if you could tell us a little bit or explain so your role. How, how, yeah, how would you describe your role? What exactly are you doing to, to getting you know, Alexandra's designs into costumes that we will wear and, and move in and dance in? Well, I was asked to um, join the production just over a year ago to assist Alexandra on the, um, to putting this production together. So my role is as a costume production manager to bring amazing Alexandra's designs into life. So from her drawings uh, that we saw over a year ago when we had the presentation and we were just imagining how it's going to be, I had to technically dissect them and put them back together from paper into real life. And that's what we're doing now. Wow. So, so for me, a Luddite, to, to, you're seeing a picture, a drawing, a design, and then you're sitting there and going, right, how is that going to work technically? How, how, how is it going to be made? How is it going to be constructed? Everything, everything. To okay. start, I think we started this um, colours, we're starting this fabric and to see overall um, idea of the show and the overall um, picture, exactly how you see on a stage into the model box and it, how you fit the costumes. Mm. That's how when we developed it together. And of course, Alexandra already seen it, you know, in her mind, you know, and then we just try to deliver it and mm. bring it into life. So basically every single costume we have to look from fabric, you know, decide how many items in the costumes, you know, starting from tights or the skirt or the bodies, the tunic, what is going to be, is it going to be gloves, is it going to be cravat, if there's going to be earrings and there's going to be a headdress. So every, every single, every item. So we started, there's a, um, a small folder of um, um, drawings because they had just a page each and now we got about five very heavy big books. There's fabrics, drawing developments, technical drawings, 
um, costume makers and everything to go. So basically from everything from the big um, fabrics to the tiny little buttons and sequins and hot stones. So an enormous role then, an absolutely <laughs> huge role and massive undertaking. Um, I mean, I, I haven't seen all the costumes, obviously. I've seen the ones that I've been able to try on. Um, and then you get a little snippets, a few little things as you walk along. They look beautiful. Um, we're looking forward to seeing how they feel as well with dance, because that's a big consideration for um, dancers, isn't it? You know, how, how they can move in it. It's not just standing still. It's not just presenting. And I suppose, you know, Tom, the same for, you know, set designs. You know, it's not just creating a, a world that looks good that people might even just be able to walk through and be part of, yeah. they need to be able to dance and specific chore choreography that has already been established. How, yes. how was that? Um, it was quite a learning curve for me because okay. I've always done, I've worked in straight theatre and opera and, and some ballet, but always new pieces. So I've never designed something that was completely set. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but Wendy was great to work with and she was a great teacher. Um, and so, yes, the ground plan is exactly the same. The fireplace is exactly where it was the door, the, the amount of stairs, where the stairs are upstage, all those things are exactly the same so that steps can stay precisely accurate. I, I, I'm very grateful because we learned this entrance where we have to run down the stairs and I was yeah. like, hey, how many stairs are there? Yeah. I need to know. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think we are all grateful that yeah. they are the same amount. Yeah. Um, are they the same sizes? No. Oh, sorry. I'm going I'm to have to tell all the other princes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now yeah. we're going to jump higher. No. Um, it, it, it does look great. Um, so a year ago, you said there was the um, presentation of a year, a year and a half, maybe? How long ago? But how long has this um, been in the, the pipework for? Like, you know, how, how long have you been working on this? Um, 2018 was when I was approached. Okay. And, um, and then 2019, uh, we had me, Alex, and the rest of the creative team had a lot of meetings with Wendy, uh, largely in her garden which has had an influence on the design. And, um, and so throughout 2019, that was really the sort of, um, workshopping and thinking and talking about it. And then I started to present in 2020 and then there was a pandemic. And so it has been a bit stretched out mm -hmm. uh, longer than it would have been, but. But even then, it, it is a long process. It is a long process. Because it's, yeah. a, it's a big. Yeah. You know, we, we heard just about the, the costumes and you know, the, the different elements that have to come together and from, from scratch. Um, Natalia, um, when you're creating costumes, um, is it hard not to be pulled towards one particular design or costume that you really like or the ones that you look at and you go, maybe you know, I would do things Differently, you, know, you have a, a huge experience and understanding of you know, ballet and dance costumes. Um, yeah, any favourites or any, any things that um, have presented challenges? Well, I think for this production, it's very difficult to say and to pick up favourites because every costume is so beautiful in their own light. And Alex's designs are just fantastic. And um, what is interesting, uh, um, and for me, it's, it's quite incredible to work this Alex because she's so particular and so detailed on everything um, that sometimes in the theatre we might overlook something, but Alex is really quite precise and, and that's just really good for us. So we, that's in a way challenging for everything that we do. And there is a, so many different um, like colours and variations of everything that we worked on on their costumes. That's it's very tricky to pick up a favourite. So I think it would be more interesting to say what more work gone into one costume than, than another. Yeah, <laughs> you know, well, I can well, tell it, you this. And and um, yeah, there's a, for example uh, the some of the season's cavaliers that um, we um, have to create. Um, it's involved so many makers just to produce one costume. So when we try to put all the components together, it takes quite a while for um, to assemble everybody. So because the tunic made by one maker, there's application on the tunic for another maker. Then there's a, um, um, another drawings for some either for Alex made it herself, for example. Then there's the tights and there's the other bits. So it's like about five different people to create one costumes and you can't just give it away and say, okay, just make it. So you, 
divide it by different bits and then pass it to person to person and then go back to the beginning and start again. Oh, wow. So, and I think that's probably the most challenging. But I think they're going to be spectacular how they look, but it is interesting how we work it out, how we put all the components together. Yeah. But then it's amazing to see when the dancers come for the fitting and suddenly then we're working on this um, separate pieces that suddenly the dancer comes in, we put it on, dance and make a pose and here we go, you know, that's is amazing. And that's just so nice to see and it's so um, pleasant and so satisfying. Gosh, how incredible. I didn't, uh, you know, I think I have some understanding, obviously, how things are pulled together, but even that seems extraordinary, you know, the different different elements. Um, I think the other thing that is going to be amazing to see is, is how, you know, the costumes look when they all come together, but also when they're on that set, you know, on stage. Um, and Tom, we talked about, obviously, designing for a pre-existing piece. That was obviously, you know, a challenge um, and something you said you hadn't done before. Yeah. Um, were there any other challenges? And also, um, we're incorporating some video design as well. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yes, um, I'm working with uh, two very good collaborators, David Finn, the lighting designer, and Finn Ross, and I work with them a lot. Uh, most of the ballets I've ever worked on have been with both of those. Um, yeah, video, I, I don't like video when it's standing in for, the, for scenery. I like it. Um, I like to think of it as just another way of uh, projecting light onto the stage. Mm -hmm. So I think when it's strongest, it's is when it sort of merges with the scene painting and with the the work that I do. And uh, I like it when the audience aren't really sure of what they're looking at. Okay. Is it paint or is it moving? Or and then maybe that can develop into something. And so that's really what I'm playing with with Finn uh, for Act One. There's um, it's a it's quite an arched ceiling room and it's all a projection surface but i don't want people to know it's a, a projection surface we won't tell until the sort of magic happens um so we'll be using video to sort of add shadow and atmosphere to the room and then when um some of the appearances turn up for the seasons and for the fairy godmother there'll be moments of, of real magic that will come out of the walls i'm looking forward to seeing it Hopefully. um would you say that you know that uh, you, you described you know not, uh, the audience want you wanted the audience to not be sure um, yeah. whether they're looking at paint or um, the projection? Yeah, is that indicative of your style of something you've done yes. a lot of? Yeah, I mean um, yes, it's something that I've worked with Finn with um, many times. Of um, he'll often photograph the work I do and then project that. Um, it's sort of like video mapping, really, but it means that you can sort of bury the video into into the sonography quite well. Gosh, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, cover um, your tracks really is that's what we try to cover do. Cover your track? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I can't, you know, can't wait to see it on stage. Um, how, how do you, do you, when you, when you're thinking about designing something, when you're starting to map it out on, on the page, is it possible to know exactly how something is going to look? fully formed no. or is there are there always surprises always always yeah. always yeah i mean particularly when you actually hit stage and all the great grand ideas you had some work some don't and you have to be quick on your feet and think okay that's not really working maybe that's let's light that in a different way or let's try particularly with light and video i mean the set is the set but how you light it and how you move it uh, you can really change that during rehearsals and and find better ways of doing it Scene changes particularly. I tend to use Finn a lot in scene changes. Help me, uh, Finn. Yeah. Yes, because video can make anything look fantastic when it's moving around. If it's moving through video, you can make it look spectacular. Well, I, I, it certainly makes sense to have someone with that sort of understanding and, and that skill set yeah. for something like Cinderella because it needs that magic, doesn't it? It needs that transformation. Yeah, there's um, a lot of magic. Without that, it, would, it wouldn't capture that magic. No. No, and we've uh, also brought in um, Chris Fisher, who's an illusionist, and uh, he was Finn's suggestion because he did the um, illusions on Harry Potter, the, uh, the stage production. So okay. he's helping us do the transformation, a couple of the moments, like the transformation of the fairy godmother from the mysterious old crone and, um, and the arrival of the pumpkin coach. So uh, that's been fun to work with an illusionist. That's always interesting. Things to look out for. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Um, listen, 
you both, Natalia and Tom. Thank you so much um, for sharing that with us um, and for joining us. Um, we're going to move on to rehearsals now. Um, I could carry on talking to you for ages again. Um, but yes, let's um, thank, thank you. Tom and Natalia for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. So next we are going to watch another rehearsal, uh, this time the role of Autumn. Uh, please welcome back Laura and Wendy. And they'll be coaching artists of the Royal Ballet, Amelia Townsend. Um, Kate Chipway, again on the piano. Laura, Amelia, come here. Join us. <laughs> Laura coached beautifully before. Thank and you. the role that you had performed before, and now Autumn, we're going to see you coaching in another role. That I you did performed. Autumn a lot, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's weird because everyone, the thing I've heard most this week is, oh, you've got to be slightly mad to be able to pull Autumn off. <laughs> so take that or leave it, but obviously <laughs> you've got to be slightly unhinged to be able, because it's just a crazy, you know, you're off balance, it's fast, it's, it's you know, it's a lot, isn't it? So what does and that say about someone who's cast as Autumn? Well, ask Kevin, you know. But <laughs> no, but I think it's that, fi like, first we've got to get a technique, and we're very early on in the process with you, Amelia, um, very, very early on. But it's almost losing that fear towards the end, and just like that thing of going, just going for it. You're at the angle, you're committing to it, you're doing it, but within the safety of your technique, because you know what you're aiming for. Yeah. Amelia, have you seen videos of this solo previously? Yes. I watched Lau do this variation, and she's incredible for those who haven't seen her do it. It's on YouTube. And <laughs> so inspiring. Very inspiring, yeah. Um, and have you had rehearsals together on this before? Is this one. Yeah, not a lot. So, <laughs> not a lot. So plenty to, plenty to pick up. Yeah. We yeah. are really, like, you're seeing the beginning of what it's like putting this together. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, enough from me. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. <laughs> go, Alex. Go. Great. <laughs> Um, so I think we're just going to take it down a smidgen, and maybe not tonight, <laughs> but during our process of working together, we will then get up to the correct speed. Not too much, Kate, but just a little bit down. Um, let's do the same as Annette. Let's just try, and then I'll stop. And Wendy, and she's going to dash on. Yeah. So this entrance has changed because of the set. So if anyone's familiar with the old production, we have a slightly different entrance. Yes. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Let's stop there, Amelia, just before this step. Well, I thought that was amazing. Like, apps, everything that, you know, Deidre, who has been also working with you, and that Wendy and myself have told you just went in. So that's beautiful. Um, much better with the running. Yeah, just feel just before you go on, it's like someone's gone more than superhero. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of that feeling. I loved, I don't know how. The wind has blown you on. Yeah. The wind. That's kind of for this whole solo. The image, the remember, is like leaves and that kind yes. of wind. Yes, when she does out. this, she's throwing leaves. Um, I love the way you suspended that jeté. That was, it's perfect, you know, because it really held in the breath. So this was excellent, the way you did this. You're throwing the leaves. Then once you do that, be careful how this foot shapes where you're going. Right foot. Yeah, there we go. So keep going forward with it. Again, you do something, but you're already in the next place. There we go, nice, good. This spirit was excellent. The more you guided with this arm and that leg in opposition, the more you bend at the waist and then go, yeah. And almost feel like a dog chasing his tail. You know, it really is that kind of feeling. And guide it with the foot and then put it down. There we go, yeah, yes, lovely. excellent. 
It's like if you focus on that, you said about YouTube, I do this very badly on YouTube, so please do not reference it. Um, but he it's loved about it off balance. He yeah. loved it to look as though. Whoa, and if the you wind put the blowing. emphasis on that foot, it really does keep you together and the stomach, there we go, exactly yes. where it's gonna go. Nice. Um, this was great. The more you can travel and the less we hear it, a <laughs> little bit more elegant. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how to say that politely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and bata chapa and the two. Good. Back foot. Back foot in. Yeah. So back it's foot very in. quick. Exactly. Quick, quick. Back. So it's very light. Dada, dada, dada. Yeah. And chapa, da, 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 chapa, da, da, chapa, 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 chapa. Hold. Then this was very nice. Uh, this was great. Now, still a little bit more. One and two. Shape your feet. And two. yeah, I think it's this. Like it's not quite so, but and down. So it's really fifth and down, yeah. And fifth and down, good. And then this was very nice. Remember to be on this leg, the bend only have, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And because it's such a tiring solo, use those moments to breathe. You know, it's got that feeling of suspension. Yeah, there we go, nice. Up, this was gorgeous. Be careful with this wrist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was very nice. Nice, good. This was going to be great. And then we go into this. Then it just gets yes, more and gathering, more crazy. Gathering the leaves, gathering, gathering, yeah. gathering. And, and back I'm foot. Again, yeah, be careful, Amelia, foot. not to get too slinky with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one and then gather and gather. Really focus where you're going. So the, the back is moving the arms. Sorry, just slapped you. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's not summary. <laughs> it's gathering that way. Yeah, nice, good, good, good. Let's go from, um, oh, should we go from the beginning again? Yes. Yeah. Anything else, Wendy? Yeah, yeah that, that back foot even on that second lot. Yes, catching it up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, again, thank you, Kate. Gorgeous. I mean, really, like, beautiful. So, well, that's my thought, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now, this is hard. So, <laughs> because the rest of the solo is so easy. Um, so once you've done this, the way I think I really used to find on that foot, and as soon as I change, there is no room for in between. So like, pa, 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 out, and out, yeah, and feel, yeah. At the moment, it's going behind and up. As soon as, yeah, exactly. You lose like a millisecond changing that way. Yeah. And you almost just need to think of it, yeah. So you're hitting that ankle bone. Yeah, yeah. And it, it almost has a little bit again of a touch up, because it doubles in like half a count. One, two, one, two, yeah. Yeah, better. Then let's look at the rest. Let's just hear gathering leaves, and then let's pick it up from the batu. And look at the foot, look at the foot, look at the foot. Da, 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 da. And that's a yes. moment that tension is in your friend. You know, like if you're tense, somehow nothing happens. It's tense on the foot, but everything else is just about where you're going with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, thank you, straight on it, thanks. One, two, three, out, and out, and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, now this is the bit I know that you find most difficult, I think. <laughs> um, very nice. Still, just a we need a little bit more work on that. Yeah. There's not enough definition on the batu. Yeah. 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 You've just come from finger fairy as well, haven't yeah. you? So, yeah, I think it's really where you place. So once you've pointed this foot, absolutely place it down and replace it and then feel your other foot twice on the ankle bone. Yes, there we go. Yeah, nice. And then you can really take a step here. Now be careful with your tension that we don't see on the face. And swing is that opposition, that chaquette opposition without going back. Swing and down and swing and down. Put it on your shoulder blades. And then, yeah, once you've done it, remember you're still a fit. Yeah, don't get too schooly on that. You know, present it again, sorry, my microphone. Present it from the heart, like give it and down, and this was gorgeous, and down, now crazy it up, gather it, gather it, gather it, and make it go, go, yeah. and go, yeah. Yeah, I think she's yeah at the top, a Little bit more at the top. So first you gather it, then you're making it go round, 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 yeah. And once you've done this, don't get stuck here because there's no way you're going to make it. So remember, it's like, so you're already going, yeah. Yes, exactly, yeah. So this is a real, yeah, like Antoinette Sibley, I always think of her on that. That's yeah. kind of right. At the top. Just let it go. Yeah. Turns were fantastic. Remember, at the end of the term, you've done this, this, this. Right at the end, this leg will guide you to Hold, 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 go. There we go. It just helps to know that that's the plan. Good, then this was great, this was great. And then this needs to connect arabesque with your back leg. And metatarsal down, yeah. So I think this one, you need to come around a little bit more on this shoulder. Second one, and arabesque, hold. Yeah, and that can be very high leg. Yeah, it's more like a pa, down. And feel the inner thighs down, yeah. Um, smaller fourth, and then bend. There. Let's just try this without music for a second. Okay, and one and two and one. One and two. Okay. <laughs> yes, I was going to be a bit kinder. What, <laughs> and what go. helps there? What helps there are thinking of knees, knees, knees. Da da. Knees, knees, knees. Yes. Together. And it helps your balance. Yes. yes. And even when you mark it, remember, this is a straight leg. And the only way to do it is not to breathe in for it. And like you actually put the weight there and the one, and the one, and then tuk, 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 tuk. one and two and the one. Watch your arms now on that. Let all me see way. that, yeah. All the way down. And then all the way, yeah. And one and down and through, out and out and down, one and down and through. Out and out and down, yeah. And really, you, mm. you. I don't believe you're seeing anything by this point, but I don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe you're seeing. You know, you and you and down, and feel the shoulder blades. Yes, yeah. there we go. Nice. A little bit more in, in and in, in out, in out. Yeah. In out, cha. Yes. It's when you point, not to leave it this way. It's like really finger to the side. Point. Yeah. <coughs> Lovely. Let's go from the pirouettes. <coughs> yeah. Shall, shall we go? Yeah. Shall we go from crazy gathering? Shete uh, and down. One and the two. Pirouette of balance. Thank you. I'll give you an and and we'll go straight into that. And thank you. Five from the stop. Go. Ah. Good. Chase it. Good. Yes. Now get your technique. Gather it. Good. Point, point, point.
really good. It's just finishing. I almost feel this one doesn't finish. And then you came off point on the last one. Oh, yeah. You're anticipating and you need to matrix it. Like you need to slow it down. Ta ta cha. And one and one. Yeah. So just think front and front and front. Yeah. And then from your here, so then just lower on your right and put the weight on the right to then go. Pa, pa, and down, and one, and two. Yeah, where are you looking the second time? So just move forward a little bit, and then one at Wendy, one at me. Laura, if she can just cross it a little bit more. Cross it. Those. <laughs> this one. These ones. Cross them more. It's not in front. It's across. One and two. Cross yes. and me. Good. Yes. Yeah. One knees. And two. Knee, knee over the yes. much better. Nice. Then this is your breath. What? Right, not this. This is not your breath. <laughs> this is just a nightmare. <laughs> but this is your breath, you know. Lift. Allow yourself to have that breath that there's no tent. Yeah. So you get there, you bend, and then you just change to the other side. You get there, you bend. <sighs> yeah and down. Now this one, this arm, even though we're bending, there needs to be a reason why we're bending. Otherwise, Ashton looks awkward. You know, we're trying to put a bend in. I think this arm is going to guide you, right? So it's going to be, it's going to take you exactly where you are. It's not going to go past here, otherwise you'd go here. So it's going to go there and down, and then you can suspend it up like a swan lake. Down, good, and hold. Yeah, and down, and down. Now articulate the feet on this next bit. Yeah, and could really that. And again, it's got a, a pulmon, a pulmon, good, hold. One, two, hold. Yeah, maybe a little bit less abrupt. I like that, but not, but maybe a little bit more like you. Yeah, yeah. One and two and you and one and two and own it and gather it and gather it and gather it and gather it and hold. Now this was very nice. Da, 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 da. This arm doesn't connect. Yeah. It really is what will guide you. You are down as soon as this foot is connected to this arm to bring it up, to then keep it classical, to go down, to bring it down. Otherwise, we just see that, and it breaks the illusion. Mm -hmm. Shall we go from, yeah, Wendy? No, that's no. good. Shall we go from, just mark, da, 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 the pointy step, and go from the, are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? It's like midnight, and you just got shot out of a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you sure? Um, just um, let's go um, straight on that, Kate, and you pick it up in the Padre Amelia. Thank you. And good. Now breathe down. Good. And all the way. Take it with you. Focus. Much better. Mm -hmm. the, there's still, yeah. I, I do you still feel would it? like to see more up and down. Uh, you're doing it about there. Up, up, right, down, right. Yeah, it's almost like because your head is slightly down, it's like your chest is yes, coming. Yes, that's better. Yes. yes. And at the end, don't whack it because on a bad day, you're just going to deck it. <laughs> yeah. So from here, feel that connection that it's like this is coming forward this is going a little bit then, lower the arms yes yeah so it's that yeah i think we've got to start gorgeous i mean really beautiful thank you so much thank you yes thank you Well, that was actually really thrilling, wasn't it? Incredible. Um, amazing to see the preparations going on uh, behind the scenes for this brand new production of Cinderella. Um, unfortunately, that's all we have time for tonight. Um, Cinderella opens on the main stage here at the Royal Opera House on the 27th of March. You can find uh, tickets on our website and you can see it live in cinemas on the 12th of April. 
Thank you to all our guests this evening, including Wendy, Kevin, Tom and Natalia, as well as the dancers Annette and Amelia, and of course our wonderful pianist, Kate. Not forgetting the incredible coaching of Laura Marrera. That was wonderful, wonderful work. Um, to our audience here in the core, and those of you watching around the world, we hope you've enjoyed tonight's insight, supported by Rolex. Good night. <laughs>